Love Actually has become a staple of the festive season, despite retrospective criticisms over its gender politics and fat shaming. People still love the big heart at the center of it. And as one of the biggest stars in its ensemble cast, Hugh Grant's Prime Minister is among the best-loved characters. But it seems he wasn't a big fan of having to shoot that dance sequence. Speaking recently to MSN, he said, I mean, there was the horror of that scene where I had to dance around. I suspect that was the most excruciating scene ever committed. He joked, it wasn't easy for an Englishman in his 40s to do at 7 in the morning, stone cold sober. Back in October, Grant's co-star Martine McCutcheon appeared to rule out the possibility of another sequel, after most of the gang reunited for a special comic relief coda. Of course as a jobbing actress I would love to do it, I'd love, to be with that amazing cast again, she told this morning. But I think, Richard Curtis, kind of did it with the comic relief and the film together, that was Richard Curtis's dream come true I think. I can't speak for him, but I think. Love Actually, which also starred the likes of Emma Thompson, Liam Neeson, Laura Linney, Keira Knightley and the late Alan Rickman, was released back in 2003. It took $247 million at the box office worldwide, with a reasonably positive 63% aggregated score on Rotten Tomatoes. It was an unlikely awards success. 2. Bill Nye won a supporting actor BAFTA for his role, while Thompson was also nominated. It also picked up two Golden Globe nominations. Love Actually is streaming on Netflix.